Hello, I'm Sharik, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about fasting during the corona crisis. Now, as you might know, it's the month of Ramadan, so to my Muslim brothers and sisters, I'd like to wish you a happy Ramadan. And um, for all others, uh, I'd like to emphasize that fasting has become also uh, much more important in Western secular thinking. Um, we know that fasting has a lot of benefits, and I want to explain it from both perspectives, the Islamic and non-Islamic perspective. So fasting, specifically during the lockdown, can be a challenge, of course, because there's nowhere to go and nowhere to move. And if we just sit at home fasting or we might be working, um, we lose focus because we don't move around. So it's even more important to be conscious about, um, you know, slight exercise and activity during the fasting period. So why fast? Well, first of all, most obviously, it boosts your immune system. Uh, it is known to also trigger stem cell generation. And uh, a, fast, um, vi a virus doesn't like a fasting body. That's a fact. Nor does any other pathogen, such as bacteria or parasites. So stem cell generation giving you back, uh, you know, longevity, uh, giving you overall juvenile look. Um, it gives a rest to your digestive tract, which then comes back and you... It brings back the taste in the food, uh, the blessing, if you will. It also improves your gut flora. Um, you learn to be grateful and be appreciative. Also, because you're not investing any energy into digesting food, you haven't got a full stomach, and you can actually focus your mind much better once you get started with working or um, other things. Now, also, the energy comes back to a certain extent um, you train your hunger and dehydration tolerance as well and you boost your testosterone and if done properly you can even burn fat and lose weight. Uh, there are many more benefits, obviously I can't list them all, but um, what about exercise during the fasting period? So all throughout the fasting day I would recommend to stand up at least once every hour and have a quick walk. If you're locked down, if you're at home, if you're in self-isolation or there's a curfew, I would recommend walking in circles in the room and keep changing your direction every now and then so that you uh, don't get one-sided in your curvature. Um, that's best to do if you feel tired or weak. Very often you don't actually feel hungry. Uh, you, you feel weak or you feel a headache coming. You feel nausea. So in that case, I would definitely recommend standing up and walking about. So light exercise, even conversation during the fasting day, really good for you. Now, the other way you can exercise is if you break your fast in the evening and you don't have a big meal, you just have a small meal like a fruit salad and a lot of liquid with it uh, or a fruit juice. And then you hydrate constantly in small sips. Don't forget to drink water because you only have a certain window, obviously between the uh, breaking of the fast and the beginning of the fast early in the morning, you need to be hydrating, drinking water. So I would recommend breaking your fast with a small portion of food. So don't force, don't let for, food be forced on you. Don't force yourself to eat, eat, eat a lot, just eat very little, like a small bowl of fruit, and then stand up and exercise. And you can actually exercise quite intensely after the evening prayer, for example. So then after that exercise, you can uh, then, once hunger, set, hunger sets in again, and I said, as I said, keep hydrating. Uh, when the hunger sets in again, then you can have a proper meal. And even that meal shouldn't be too big. So try to get used to small portions during the month of Ramadan, month of Ramadan because otherwise you will actually end up gaining weight, all right? So um, then obviously after the dinner, you can do your, or you can have the dinner after the Isha prayer or after the tarabi, if the hunger shouldn't set the kick in before the evening prayer, the night prayer, try to get in as many small meals as possible, all right? So it's better to eat many small meals. You will have actually more enjoyment out of it, and uh, you will also get more calories, you more good calories into your blood, all right? As I said, keep hydrating in small sips, and the food that you should eat, obviously it should be fibrous, it should be rich in mineral, minerals and uh, vitamins and proteins and omega 3s and 6s and good carbs and you can see my other video on what good food is um, during the
corona crisis and the same is for the fasting month. So good food, fiber, fruit, early sleep. Early sleep so that you can then wake up early before the sun, before sunrise, do your tarjud and have another meal and a lot of hydration again before the fasting begins. All right. So that's what the ideas I want to give to you for the fasting month. And that's the same for other types of fasting, maybe intermittent fasting or uh, periodic fasting as other people do. 24 hour fast in the Jewish faith. There are different types of fasting, but the rules are the same. You can adopt them to your routine so if you've liked my video please give me a like subscribe to my channel and you can find my books on Sharik Ali Khan on Google and then put in science or Islam afterwards and then you'll get all my books in audible Kindle Amazon and iTunes which are audiobooks and ebooks and also if you're in print so stay safe good luck thank you very much all the best bye